Hello, welcome to a double figure review today for two Halo 4 figures, namely the Grunt Storm and the UNSC Cryotube. Um, I'll start off with the Grunt Storm and then move on to the Cryotube as it's larger. As we can see here, it's from Halo 4, a game I've not played yet, I've played the first three and Reach. Uh, 18 moving parts, his name is Grunt Storm, he's from the first series. Uh, as you can see, as you can see, he has a hat, the plasma pistol, I believe, on of his gruntness glory. And on the back, we see that the other members of the series one figure range are Master Chief, an elite zealot, which I would have got, but it wasn't there, and a Spartan warrior. And coming soon. Cortana, Spartan Soldier, Crawler and Watcher. Well, I've not played four, so I don't know what those two are. I know who Cortana is, though, and the Spartan Warrior. Now, this is made by Micro DPS, OPS, Micro Ops, sorry. This, on the other hand, is made by McFarlane Toys, which is a bit weird. I'm not sure if they're very compatible. Um, as judging from it, there's Master Chief in here. You can sort of make him out. And the grunt seems about as tall as Master Chief. So anyway, um, without further ado, I shall open this and be right back. And here he is in all his um, unpackaged glory. As you can see, the uh, helmet there is detachable. Although I don't really want to do that because one of the main problems of this figure is he's incredibly awkward to make stand upright. Also, as I unpackaged this, this leg here came off. Um, it wasn't the best thing ever. Also, if you can see here, it's a bit hard to make him hold his pistol right. It's sort of... Okay, the balancing issue is becoming slightly annoying. Uh, I mean, it's understandable. There is a huge chunk of, um, you know, plastic on his back. Um, so, let's take a better look at this guy. The helmet, as I said, is detachable and fits pretty well on his head. Uh, as you can see, he looks fairly derpy, but then in the games, grunts aren't exactly the most handsome of creatures. Then you've got his little speckled hand arm thingy. Um, Never been able to figure out what these are exactly. Um, I'm sure there's some explanation in the game that I may have missed, or. Oh, there's a very lovely mark there. Okay. I did buy these in home bargains, um, so. Don't expect the best quality. These may have been rejects or something. Uh, yeah, that's a huge shame, because it'd be really nice if we could actually hold it, but. Apparently he can't, or he can. Yay! Sort of, really daintily, as if he doesn't even want to touch it. Uh, well done, Grunt. Okay. His legs are posable, although you really have to have them in a certain position, or he will fall over, because he's incredibly back-heavy. Um, yeah, I mean, the detailing's really nice. I mean, this, whatever it is, is very detailed. It's got a lovely little tubing going everywhere, including on his helmet. Um, not much else to say, really. He's, he's a pretty nice figure. I mean, you know, I, I wouldn't pay, wouldn't have paid full price, like £8 or whatever they were going for. But, you know, if you can get this guy cheap, I'd, I, I'd, I'd say he's, you know, pretty worth it if you want to build up, like, a Halo figure collection, really. However, the main issue yeah, is that he can't stand very well. There, sort of. I may need to find some kind of display thing to hold him up, because I'd imagine a light, light knock against the dis um, display cabinet and he'd probably die. So, that was the grunt. Now, on to... Ta-da! The uh, cryotube, as I have mentioned, Master Chief just chilling in the back there. 
This two is from Halo 4, and made by McFarlane Toys, which, um, from what I've heard of them, and I think I may have one or two McFarlane Toys, they are very well made. As you can see, there's Master Chief, there's the cryotube that he's in at the start of Halo 4, I believe, in the trailer. Door opens and closes! Wow. That's some pretty, uh, incredible action you've got there, Mr. Chief. Um, so as we can see on the back, it's got the Series 1 figures. It uh, mentions, you know, the other figures. And there's the UNSC Drop Pod. Uh, where are we? Yes, oh, sorry, not UNSC, ODST Drop Pod with the rookie inside. Yay! And there's mini sets to collect. I do like the way this is going, really, um, the whole, like, figures of, you know, game character things, because it's always cool to think that, you know, that 3D person that you have been controlling for so many hours is actually, like, a tangible, real thing that you can touch and stuff. That's pretty cool. Um, bottom, it's probably for, like, 12 plus or whatever. 343 Industries, upside down, Xbox 360, because that's where it's on. Um... And this side just shows him sort of standing slightly awkwardly outside of his cryo tube as uh, as something erupts, I guess, um, and just says the name of the thing. So I'll open her up and I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Uh, I have opened them. So we have the cryo tube number sixteen. Apparently, um, I'm not sure why. The 16 of them, at least, on the ship. It's probably explained in game. Um, there's frost on the windows, which I think is pretty cool. You know, it's a nice little uh, detail. And then, if we open it up, it sort of clicks into place, I believe. Or doesn't open any further than that, I don't think. We have the interior, which, you know, is pretty detailed. There's not much detail in there to, you know, bother with really, which is nice. Um, looks pretty sort of, kind of worn. Uh, you know, there's the little capsule things on the side, on the outside. And it's generally quite a, um, a nicely built thing, really. It's got a little stand, I guess. This is a stand? Yeah. It's quite a lightweight thing, really, to be honest. Not that heavy, but, you know, it's still pretty, uh... stocky. Uh, it seems you have to, like... Um... I'm not sure. There seems to be... Aha! Aha! Right. Cool. Okay, it opens a bit weirdly. And you have to kind of close it from the top and the bottom. Now obviously as you can see Master Chief is not in there as he is there. Now you may be wondering why is it the Master Chief looks like he's sulking? Well that's the only way I can get him to stand up. Now I'll take a look at the figure first. He is incredibly detailed, more so I'd say than the Grunt. I mean he just looks really like worn down, damaged, so, well, not damaged, just worn down, really. I mean, like, his armour is imperfect, it's not shiny in any way, really. Just looks like, you know, he's been through a lot, and uh, he has, because this is the fourth game. That's totally necessary. Uh, as you can see, there's a gun that comes with him. He can hold it perfectly well. I'm very impressed. Not sure what gun that is. That may be like a rockety pistol thing, maybe. He has his jetpacks in the back that apparently he totally had the whole time, just didn't want to use. Um, you know, all the armour is really nicely detailed. I mean, everything is painted perfectly. And, you know, I know, it just, he comes off as a really, really, really well made figure, to be honest. He's, he's more of a display figure, I'd say. I, I wouldn't recommend buying this for any, like, small children or ever, because 
I know it would be a shame to see such craftsmanship sort of go to waste. However, here's my problem with him. Okay, I, I did uh, If you want him to look up and stand, don't think you're going to be able to. Uh, unfortunately, he is built in such a way that he has to kind of... That's the best I can do. Where he's kind of looking down a bit to the side to his gun that he dropped. Now, let's try and put him in here, shall we? Uh, right. This should be interesting. Aha. Uh -huh. And he's fit in. Look. Yay. He can go into cryostasis, which is always fun. Uh, no, talking no fun. Aha! There we are! Look, and there he is in all his glory. Frozen glory, as it was. That's a pretty cool way to display him, actually. Um, I think he makes up for the fact that he can't stand very well. In that, you know, you can just have him in the cryo tube there and... If you look in, you see Master Chief. It's a pretty cool tube in itself, anyway. Um, I'm quite a fan of having, like, figures of props and such. I actually have the, uh, I have a figure of a prop from a Doctor Who episode. If you can make that out. It's the lift from, I think it's the Beast Within or something. The one where he meets the devil, basically. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I like things like this, it's just the sort of background props of figures, because even as a kid growing up, I always hated that you could only get figures of the main characters and nothing of their world, uh, sort of, so, you know, whenever I got the chance to buy a figure with a rideable motorbike or something, I would. But yeah, um, I'm not sure, you can probably store this in there as well, either at his feet or something. So overall, pretty cool. I shall bring the grunt back, as you can tell. Um, I mean, Master Chief is, you know, a few feet taller than him, sort of, you know, size comparison ways. Um, I don't know, the grunt seems really huge, though. He does seem on a different scale to Master Chief, personally speaking. However, they're both pretty cool. I would give the Grunt a 7 out of 10. You know, he's he's what you'd expect of a Grunt figure, really. Downside is, he can't hold his gun. That That's a point off right there. That's an entire point, because that's pretty inexcusable, really. Another point off, the fact that you really have to have his, his feet in a certain direction. So you can't you can't pose him that brilliantly. Um, another point off, just because, well, he's cool, but he's not particularly articulate either. His arms move on the joints, yeah. His legs move on the joints there. His head moves, and that's about it. Uh, I'm not sure what they mean by 18 points of articulation. The Cryo 2 with Master Chief, on the other hand, I would give a solid 9 out of 10 for. Uh, 